Hello friends, this video is about our preload add-on. Today I want to review both its old functionality which was only for preloading fonts and a very important and technological change introduced in the new update 1.3.0. First, I will show you how to indicate the browser links to fonts that will be loaded before the first rendering of the page, which will reduce its opening time. The first step is to define the links to the files that we want to preload. Open the storefront and in the developer tool in Chrome, open the network tab. Here on the fonts tab, we see the list of all used fonts. Let's copy this link. In the add-on settings on the link preload tab, let's now add it. Let's choose the Coric format and also, since this is a local font that contains a timestamp, we add a link before the question mark and set this checkbox. Since the font is not an external link, it was also possible to specify it in a relative form, which in this case means starting from the design directory. Let's check our result. Refresh the page and all all tab, we see that the added font was loaded before loading and processing the style sheet and does not delay the rendering of the page. While the rest not added fonts were loaded afterwards. Similarly, we can add all the other fonts and speed up our page loading. The result that we expect is the absence of the flickering effect on the text content that appears when the font is activated and, accordingly, the disappearance of the warning in the Google Page Speed Insight service about the need to preload fonts before loading the page. Now let's move on to the new functionality of this add-on. In the new version we have implemented the prioritization of loading images of the first screen. It improves the LCP, which is one of the most significant values on page speed, and CLS is also improving on highly loaded product pages. To make it all work, you just need to turn on the add-on and activate checkboxes in several places. But first, let's check the result of three store pages without enabling the add-on, and then again after activation and all the settings. Home page, category page, and product page. Now let's turn on the add-on and make sure that all the necessary settings are activated. Let's go to the theme settings and on the add-on step in the AB preload section we have the ability to preload the main product image. This applies to the product page. Next, we see here the ability to manage the number of products whose images will be preloaded for different types of lists and different types of devices. By default, the most optimal values are set here, selected by our specialist. It's not recommended to change them without understanding. The next place is the banner block on the home page. We mark the checkbox Disable Lazy Load for the first banner here. Thus, instead of Lazy Load, a preload will be also used for the first banner, which will give a very good result. And finally, we can also preload the main image of the blog page by activating this checkbox in the settings of the add-on. Now, let's run the analysis again and compare the results. plus 25 for mobile and plus 21 for PC.
here 34 points more for mobile and almost the maximum score of 98 for desktops. And on the product page we have 12 points more for mobiles and 10 more for desktops. The result is excellent, but naturally these values will differ from store to store. They can also differ on the same page by running the test several times in a row. Now I have just shown a general picture of the capabilities of this add-on in the new update. That's it guys, subscribe to our channel to always stay up to date with all updates and new releases from Alex Branding team.